we're building a trade bot. So hi everybody and welcome back to the Bitcoin day trade channel. And today I'm gonna show you guys how I made a Poloniex trade bot. In my last live stream I was working on a Poloniex trade bot and it wasn't finished yet because I had to do a little bit of small little bit of tweakies here and there. I don't even know if tweak is the right word but I need to do some small things to it to make it work and eventually I've got it to work and it helped me out. What the trade bot does is you insert a certain amount of value of BTC and and on Poloniex, it will go through all the altcoins and give it the same amount of value worth in BTC. Because that's just the way I usually day trade. I think it was my first video on this, on this channel that I explained that I usually like to spread my risk among all the coins. And I like to even them all out. So whenever one coin makes a profit, I use that profit to pay off that coin that did not make profit. You know, that lost some of its value. So for instance, let's say we use $10. So you have Litecoin for $10, Dogecoin for $10, Ethereum for $10. And the next day, all of a sudden, Ethereum is worth $12 and Dogecoin is worth $9 and Litecoin stays the same. Then I would use the $2 from Ethereum and pay off my losses on the doggy coin and make sure that the next day it's all back at $10. That's usually a way that I trade. It's not always the same, but it is a way that I felt it was safe to trade. And so what I did was manually every day go to a coin and buy that coin. As you can see now, my BTC value is all at zero because I reset it because yesterday there was a big crash and that scared me a little bit. So I sold all my coins coins and quickly went into the US dollars. I didn't lose any dollars here because I had $6,000 a little bit under. The last couple of days the market was falling a lot of times. And so the trade bot actually helped me out because I was invested in a lot of coins and I wanted all of a sudden all my money out all the coins and I could do that manually but sometimes when you do stuff manually you get in trouble because you're too late or something like that. Like I said, let's say we go to AMP and we want to buy some AMP. You go over here, you say buy AMP, you check the sell orders, you check if there is an order that you can fill. For instance, we see here 10. You see that? 10 millibits, 0 0.01 millibits. So you go to that one, for instance, and you say, I want to buy for 10 millibits, like this. Very nice round number. Buy. And then you bought it. And then you can go to the second coin and do it manually. And as you see, it takes some time to do this. And sometimes you get some errors. Sometimes you can fill the order. So you go to that one, you say, I want to buy 10 millibits. And you say buy. And once you're finished, you'll see here, usually 99, because you pay a little bit of transaction cost to the website. That's normal. But as you see, these coins are bought now. It's around 10 millibits, but you have to do it manually. So I didn't like that. So let me show you how my script works. Where can you find the script? You can find it at GitHub Fartcoin project, my project, the Poloniex trade bot here. Let us check the script. If you want to run the script, you need to put your key here and you need to put your secret here. At Poloniex, you can find those here at the Epi keys. As you can see here, you have a key and you can show a secret. And if you want to show it, you need to confirm with email and stuff like that. And I showed you guys this in uh, the live stream, but this is a video after the live stream, just a summary. And make sure you do not have enable withdrawals, because if you enable withdrawals, that means that the script can withdraw from your account to an offline wallet or just another wallet, you know? So if somebody gets a hold of your app key and your secret, and you have enable withdrawals on, they can steal your money. So make sure that that is not checked, this box. Just for your own safety, you know? Like maybe you make some mistake and somebody finds your app key or secret, maybe you have some malware, stuff like that. Just make sure you don't have this cross on. So then, then you're safe. Nobody can steal your money. The only thing they can do is do trades for you. Once you put your API key, the one over here in the script, the Poloniex key here and that secret over there, then it will work. That's, that's one of the things that you have to do. You have to download the Poloniex library. This is uh, the link. It's just written here. You have to download it, put it somewhere on your computer. I have put it on my desktop. So go to this little website. I want to download a zip. You download the zip, you copy this to your desktop, that zip file, or unzip it on your desktop. You download the script. I've never done that. Uh, a clone download, download zip. In that master, grab that all coin order. 
and put it on the Python master font. So it's in here. You gotta make sure that you have Python, a Python 3.6, 3.7, as long as it's a Python free version. Let's download a Windows release. I'm using 3.6, but you can use 3.7 as well. Uh, the executable Windows installer, 64 bit. Let's install it, so run it. Now customize installation and add Python 3.7 to path. So make sure this is checked. Customize installation. I want pip install, so make sure that you have pip installed, so because we need it. Next, and let's install it on Python 3.7 on the C drive, like that. Add Python environmental variables. Yes, we want that. Install for all users, yeah. So let's install 3.7. And while we're at it, I don't know if you already have it, but let's use Notepad++. This one, this little gecko. You've seen this in my other videos, so get this as well. So download the 64-bit installer. If you have this, it makes writing scripts a lot easier and reading scripts a lot easier. So Python is installed. Install this uh, Notepad++. Okay, and we can run it. If you have added Python to your path, like I showed you in the video, like you have to check that box. And once you have checked that box, you can do pip installs everywhere. So copy that line, copy it, open a new command window. And I usually use it running as an administrator. You can also pin it down here. That's what I usually do. So I can easily open it here. Paste this line and wait for the pip install to complete. So what this does, it creates um, all kinds of functions that we're gonna use to, for instance, say we wanna buy something, we wanna sell something, we wanna collect information, and it's all been made by one person before. So we're gonna use his script to uh, gather the information that we need to make trades. Now the script can be run. And let's check it out. Let's check out if it is working. We have to navigate to this folder in command. So the way we do that, is we click at the address bar, we press Ctrl C for copy, we go to our command window, type CD for change directory, and then right click, and then you see the path, press enter. Now we are in this folder, so if we write directory, D-I-R, then we will see our file here, all coins order. So we are in the right directory. Let's keep a Poloniex tab like this somewhere, so we can see everything at the same time in the screen. Ha, isn't this nice? This is a nice setup, am I right? So like I said, let's start by putting this all to uh, five or 10 millibits. No, 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 five, five would be a great idea. Then we have an example of selling the first two coins and we have an example of buying the rest of the coins. All you have to do is here, write Python and then press space. The name of this file is all coin order. So it's because we want to order all the coins. Press space and then input the budget that you want over here. Like I said, we want five millibits, not nine, just like in the example up here, put 0 0.005. If I press enter, you gotta be kidding me. Gotta be kidding me. Look man, I even printed my trade bot. After I wrote it, I wanted to see how big it was. But that bot is actually quite big. As you can see, it is a lot of code. And it ends at line 321, so it's pretty big. I'm pretty proud, so I'm gonna show you guys a little bit how it works. Let's refresh this page. Let's hope it's all on one millibit. It is all on one millibit. See, isn't that nice? All on one millibit. All thanks to the script, man. It just did it. One millibit, Woo! What was that in my screen? Something, 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 something. What happened? I never saw that before.
damn it, mom.